love them. They're so good. Beginning of every X game. So we have X3 Albion Prelude. It's a great game, an older game. I played it many times. You have uh, since I've only started recording. I thought I'd chuck up my bits and pieces on it. I love this game. You have your different starts. They all have their different uh, reputations with different all the different races and so on. Um, when you start, uh, let's just have a start. When you start, you uh, begin depending on your start race. It de it determines what ships you uh, begin with, what money you have. Argon Flight School Buster. And I, as starting as a humble merchant, one of the easiest, you start in a ship. Controls are pretty easy. You can use the mouse, hold the button down, and uh, right to fire. Um, and the controls on the uh, keyboard as well, very important. Um, navigating around, backspace, Turns your power off, tab, full power. Um, you can, you have your R for your property menu, shows you what ships you have, what you begin with. I am starting with a scout and a freighter. And you wanna just go from place to place. Uh, period is your local map, shows you your ships, Stations that you, uh, stations that are in, and the um, ships in the vicinity, and the gates and asteroids which aren't scanned at the moment. Um, yeah, to begin with, I find it easy to go from place to place. Getting uh, fuel or whatnot. Uh, J is your cedar. What's that set to? Six. Yeah. You can change that in options. Yeah. Uh, gameplay, cedar, change that to 10 if you have the computer for it. I do. Everything is pretty cool for now. So now you can see uh, your speed can increase. When I was moving, I actually used Auto automatic pilot autopilot to move. Now I'm in manual mode. To go into uh, your computer and go automatic is Shift C and navigation. Uh, notify me when an order is complete. Yes. Uh, and um, well, we don't have the sector mapped at the moment. That's my galaxy map. Escape out. Um, so, what we are going to do is go to the local map, go to North Gate, T for target. Power circle. Enter, autopilot, fly through, escape, and you can see the autopilot automatically re, uh, readjusts for the direction. Press J for extra speed. At the moment, my ship freighter is going 75 meters a second. And there we go, we're on uh, time acceleration. It's a great game. Go to a um, station, buy some fuel, go to another station, station, sell it. Then when you work up enough money, I'll show you a uh, game that I've been playing for a couple of months now. 
you uh, do the story, you make stations, you build an empire, your fleet. Entering system, power circle. Okay, um, so tab full speed to target you can actually click with solar the mouse. power plant M alpha or T to target solar power plant um, M alpha I'm going to autopilot docking, docking granted autopilot activated J cedar increase the speed and we will autopilot dock at the solar power plant have no idea what the prices are, but to the beginning, just as an example to show you, obviously you're going to choose the best price to buy and sell. Successfully docked. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation welcomes you aboard. Connection to local trading network established. I'm actually going to turn the music down a bit for uh, recording. Although the music's pretty cool. Uh, okay, so we're at the trade station D to trade. Price pretty good. Energy can, cells are the unified. Can go with the cursor. With the owner of the freight. Left, right, to buy and enter or uh, end to buy as Your much energy cells as you, your ship can carry. And and then we want to go sell it. Um, we can undock. Full speed ahead. Let's see how many other ships here, but for now, um, we will go back to Heron's Nebula, fly through. And J, Cedar, high speed. Time compression technology, one, one day we might have. Not a very fast ship, you get that. At the moment, I'm leaving my discovery docked. It should be docked. No, it's in space. We can command it from here, can we? If we have a trade extension. Um, we probably can't. Dock at. Um, Docking granted. Trading station. Command accepted. Notify me when the order is complete. Enter. Okay. J. Still an autopilot. Entering system. Heron's Nebula. Okay. Autopilot off. I'm just going to full speed ahead. And... Information. Kahuna bakeries are huge. Oh, don't have the tech, the software to check from here at the moment. Got to buy more gear. So we are just winging it at the moment. I'm going to land at this high yield production facility. Auto. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. Autopilot, then time compression. Incoming message. And that would be my discoverer arrived at the trading station. Sure. Uh, Shift M. Quick one to get straight to messages. Uh, just close that for now.
finds the docking lane and here we go successfully docked on behalf of our president and senator data trade connection to local trading network established energy Energy cells are the unified energy storage used throughout energy cells sold. Which we will because we bought them at 12. So basically that's what we just want to keep doing for starters. Full speed, keep going, get that, choose your product, go and buy and um... This production facility menu. This production facility explore the more options you have obviously I will go back to get more solar I reckon and autopilot granted autopilot activated galaxy view is um, comma and local system view is period You can adjust the views with your numpad and the F1s. Here we go with the auto parts going to go around the rocks, yeah. Um, you can press F1 and then numpad to view around at your ship. This is the ship you start out with, with the humble merchant. Um, page asteroid um, zoom out and zoom in on the numpad is plus and minus get a good view of your different ships almost looks a bit like Iron Man is that Iron Man or what? pretty close um, that's my target <laughs> at the moment. And I'm back in the ship. Get enough money to increase your cargo space of your ship. You go to the trading stations and increase your cargo space, more cargo space you have. Obviously, more money you can make per trip. This is a very manual part of the entering system game. power circle for increasing your funds. Um, I'll show you after increasing the. Uh, it's almost like an empire, and you can fight. There's different types of styles to you can play this game you can hop in uh, fighters and just pirate away or trade in weapons and so on but I'm just showing an easy beginner version Successfully trading done. on behalf of our and president and senator, the Argon Federation welcomes you aboard. Connection to local trading network established. That energy is too expensive to buy. I would uh, suggest keep looking around. There's more here somewhere. Uh, we will go Argon Energy Transporter. Let's have a look and find some more stations somewhere. You can easily follow some of the um, transports and things and that will lead you to stations as well. You can have different scanner ranges. Bigger scanner range, triplex scanner obviously is better than a duplex large range 
Let's have a little scope around. Trading station is there. T for target. Free Argon Trading Station. What's that? Might be too far away. Solar Power Plant. XL. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. So that would have shown up, yep. And uh, an ore mine. Let's um, mine autopilot, yep, okay. Okay. Successfully docked. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation welcomes you aboard. It'll do. Connection to that. local trading network established. And you have gained recognition. And that would be my reputation, which would be here. Argon, Boron, Split, Tulari, the different races that you meet. Uh, system I'm in, Power Circle, that button I pressed was P. 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 Warning. Explosive materials can be hazardous. Please contact the Dockmaster if you have any on board. Hmm. Okay. Make sure you do. And then, yeah, just keep going soon. Uh, so now I'm just going to show you um, my current game that I'm at at the moment. And building stations and so on. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Cheers. So here we are in a saved game of mine. Um, currently in a. Uh, the Griffin is the Federal Argonne Navy's attempt to provide a credible anti-fighter capability without endangering pilots. So I it have, can deploy um, a large number of MK2 fighter drones quickly and then escape to safety. I have uh, four ships in my hangar, 20 marines on board, but I have a huge fleet, uh, battle carriers, destroyers, um, and so on. All these are mainly traders, and I've got ships ready to go as well. Um, all up, I have um, over a thousand ships. There it says uh, that thirteen hundred and three hundred stations. I'm going to build a station. I thought I'd show you how to build a station, not a complex, just a station. I like the stations because I uh, find I have more mini I can manipulate things a bit better and turn things off if I want and keep things running, other things going still. Um, um, I'm going to I have a jump drive on my ship. I have fuel cells on board. F for freight. Jump drive, fuel cells, yep. Um, and so I'm going to jump to the spot which is all the way up here. I'm trying to get friendly with the split, friendlier. Jump device charging at 10%, 20, 30. So that I can um, get into their carriers and destroyers as well. I've got access to the Argon. Tulati. Entering system. Wrong cars might. And the paranoid. Um. So, in this system, I'm, I'm running pretty good at the moment. But these guys could do with another IRE station to sell. Um. So what you do is you have a station mover, one of those big massive transports. 
Did it come with me? I think I left it there. Um, down here, my my orca, and yeah, it's got enough fuel. But where is my station? Where do I want to send it? So let's just have a quick look at the shipyard on my IRE from the same race. D IRE. Not this one. Uh, let's look for another shipyard here. No. Um, there is another one here. Family Pride. Ah, oh, here's one. IRE. Uh, Impulse Ray Emitter Forge. This production facility manufactures Impulse Ray Emitters. So, I want to send it to Family Pride. Let's go back to my Orca. Computer, get my orca to jump and fly to station. Family pride. There we go. Docking granted. Command accepted. When it gets there, it's going to buy. I'm going to get it to buy the IRE forge. Um, and I'll set it up and show you how to do it. It's probably, there's probably plenty of videos out there already. This is just the way I do my things and uh, since I'm new to the video and the content of what I do, it makes sense to just show and then uh, yeah, I won't show it again. I mean it's got me very successful. I got, um, you know, 3.6 billion. I had 4 billion before. Um, you get buy whatever I want. As you can see, I'm working on the split and boron uh, reputation at the moment. And I have one more of the plot missions to go. Still, I know where to go. I have to go to Freedom's Reach to, uh, to do it. It's all ready for me to continue. The last of the these sort of missions. Got my shipyard, my HQ. One of my favorite areas is over here to get set up. It's my HQ there, my shipyard there, um, which is currently reverse engineering. Headquarters are set up by spaceborne organizations to command and control all assets that belong to that company. And uh, what else? All right, let's. Um, Increase the cedar so my orca transport gets to the station. Incoming message. That might be it. Yep. Open, go to the computer, buy the IRE, put it on the orca. Impulse ray emitter forge bot. Get the orca's computer to navigate and jump to Command me. Command accepted. Uh, I'll leave that on computer and. CETA, high speed, so now it's in the system, it's following me, just waiting a little bit so that it moves away from the gate, because you don't want it sitting at the gate um, while it's transporting the forge out, because if other ships come, they could re kill it, reduce the shields, get it down. So now I think we're far enough, I'll close that, go to the system, Go to the Orca, go to Freight, go to the Forge, build the Forge. Now where do you want to put it? Um, on the numpad, if you press 5, you'll center the station on the cursor. And end zooms out, home zooms in. Um, insert is the 3D coordinates, so now we're sideways, insert again, and we're back to top view. Uh, where I want to put the station, I'm just going to put it over here for now. 
I mean, placing is very important, but in this stage, what's happening is not. It doesn't really matter, and that's probably good enough. And then we'll put the station out. And it's ready to go. Now the naming system is all very important. You can see my system. I have. Uh, I use the Greek alphabet. Um, let's change this name. Uh, IRE. Nice and easy to abbreviate that. And we are in Ronkar's Might. And I adjust my prices. I leave the price there. I reduce. New price. Select new price. New price. Select average. I'll give it five million. Float. Funds transferred. Going to restrict it to one system jump, and I'm not going to let others trade with it. But what I am going to do is assign a, a ship to pick things up and sell the IREs to the trade station. So now I have a station ready to go. My orca's here. I'll get my orca to follow me. Command accepted. So that I can transfer more fuel to it, put it back away in its hangar. And now the next thing is to set the station up so that it's producing. I have ships ready, freighters ready to go. They're pretty far away, but they'll get there. I've got them in Kingdom N. So just scroll down. There is a quicker way to do this, but I'm just going this way so I don't confuse you. Anyone? Um, here we go. That's Kingdom End, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is my property menu. My station, my ships in the shipyard at Kingdom End system. Go to the computer. I am going to get it to notify me when this order is complete. I do that and make that a habit of all the ships. With the freighters, I don't bother with the missiles. Home base, I'm going to assign the home base to that station, which is. Well, we've got an IRE alpha, don't we? So that'll be IRE beta. I didn't change the name. Let's assign this for now and while I'm here um, we will go to so next what we do is trade buy away for best price and then energy command accepted so now it's taken off it's not in the station anymore it's on its way to go get energy and take it to that station. I'm going to rename this IRE Beta. The system is Ronkers Might and this one is going to buy energy. All right. Before I do anything I'm going to go over here rename this to Beta Apologize for the noise if anyone can hear that. <laughs> Kids. So that's ready to go. Um, and next next freighter. Home base. IRE beta. Trade. Buy with best price. Command accepted. Or rename that. IRE beta. Ronkers might. Command Plus. accepted. Go there, rename it. IRE beta. Ronkers my This is so that you, you cause the ships can get destroyed, and I'll tell you what system they are. And, <coughs> excuse me, but this way I find it much easier um, when you get the reporting to work out where it belongs and what its job is and what it's doing. 
this one was buying Rasta. Okay, so now we have the three ships associated with this. If I go to the station, and go to own ships, there's three there, and it will show me and show me what they are planning to do and what they are doing their order. Um, I do want to sell. So what did I use for my alpha? I've got four ships and I've got a seller, I've got a Chimera seller. So what I'm going to do here is go to the shipyard, buy a Chimera, nice and close, doesn't matter, Chimera, that doesn't matter either, small one, Ship now. ordered at shipyard. good enough, going to increase the cargo bay, extend engine tuning, rudder optimization, boost, X duplex scanner, In navigation singularity, Okay, and that's ready to trade. I will go to my Tremura. Same thing, assign it, notify me, use that, assign it to the station, IRE beta, trade, this time going to sell where for best price. IRE. Command accepted. And it's off. And that, that basically is how you set up a station. You get it all right, and they all run perfectly. If you ever look at my station owning system, everything is working and running perfectly. No flashing stuff. Um, I sell in my unknown sector here. I sell a lot of alcohol and space weed. Um, but everything is making money uh, very quickly. And at the same time, increasing my rep. That's flashing because I've just done it, but um, there's enough uh, Rasta in the system for the freighters to buy the Rasta. There's enough Rasta to support the Chelt, there's enough Chelt to support the Rasta. The ore, there's not, I'm at the sort of limit with my ore. That's why I allowed the station to go one jump because what it will do is it'll go one jump to my one or mine already here ready to go all right um yeah so that's pretty cool for now um any questions just uh uh comment um this is one of my favorite games i mean i played x2 and terran conflict and albion prelude so plenty of times i did play the new one a bit i didn't quite like the formatting of it um i might give it another go one day who knows but uh yeah, for now, have a good new year. Thank you for watching. Bye.